Hi there, Lars. It's Joe from Alongrid, and today we're going to talk about setting up the 5800 C2W with a Lear controller. Now, there's a bunch of reasons which you may uh, want to do this. One of the main ones is if you have an existing wired panel in the house and you want to continue to use the wired zones that are attached to the panel, but you're replacing the panel entirely and replacing it with the, the Lear controller. What the 5800 C2W is going to allow you to do is land nine hardwired zones onto the 5800 C2W and then program them wirelessly into the Lear controller. So let's cover the 5800 C2W first and then we're going to show you how to program it into the system. So right here we do have a 5800 C2W. This works on the 345 megahertz frequency which all the uh, 5800 devices also do work on and they are compatible and it is compatible with the Lear controller. As you can see it, the board does have a bunch of terminals on it. These terminals down here are where you're going to be able to land your zones. The device itself is going to be able to uh, take nine hardwired zones and program them into the Lyric system. It also has your DC power input. It gets 15.5 volts of DC from its provided transformer that you will get in the box when you order it. And it also has a power output that you can use to power some devices. It doesn't provide a lot of power though, so it's not really recommended to be used as a main power source for DC power devices. There's a few things that you're going to want to check though before you do install the 5800 C2W. If your wired system is currently working and it's on, we do recommend that you go around the house and you open and close all the doors and windows, activate the motions and find out what zone number all of the zones are so that you can correspond them uh, to the zones that you want on the 5800 C2W and even label them before you place them on the unit. After you power down your main system, it's going to be kind of tricky to figure out which wire is which, and this will save you that step. There's another thing that you can do is that if the power cable or the power wire that provides the AC or DC power to your main wired system works, you can actually continue to use that wire. You just have to undo the transformer at one end of it, and then obviously take it off of your main alarm system, connect it to your 5800C2W, connect the 5800C2W's transformer to the other end of that power cable, and it will be able to provide a power. There's a couple things that you may also be able to take from your main alarm system. One of the main ones is resistors. On the 5800C2W, the way that it actually sees that a zone is connected to one of the terminals is that it needs to have a 1 to 10K resistor attached. The unit does ship with nine 2.2K resistors, which will work if you don't have them available. But if you do find that, there is, that the, uh, the existing alarm wiring does have resistors attached to it in your main alarm cabinet, then you can simply take those wires off of the terminals, put them on the 5800C2W, and it will work just fine. There's a, uh, one of the other important things to know about the 5800C2W is that it reports all of its trouble conditions on the first zone that's calibrated. So there's nine zones on the 5800C2W, and when you install all of your wiring, the lowest numbered zone is going to be your first zone calibrated, which will send the trouble signals to your alarm panel. This can get confusing to some customers if you don't know exactly what to look for. How this will show up is that, let's say you install just one single zone on the 5800C2W. As you can see, we shunted zone number one with a resistor just to show this, uh, this process this is now seen as closed. So when I go to calibrate this, that's going to be the first calibrated zone. When I program the 5800C2W into the system, all the trouble conditions are going to report on that zone. So if I have that zone labeled as front door, it could get confusing if it says front door tamper or front door AC loss or front door low battery. It doesn't mean that the front door itself has a low battery. It means that the trouble condition is actually on the 5800C2W, and it's just using that zone to report. If you don't want uh, this to show up like that in your main alarm system, you can actually program the first numbered zone into the system with loop number four. And as you can see, the serial number for the 5800C2W is on this sticker right here. We're going to show you how to uh, program this into the system in a minute because you're not going to use that explicit serial number. There are actually different numbers that you use from uh, zones 1 through 9. You're just going to add those numbers onto the zero that you see at the end. But we'll show, the, we'll show you this on the Lyric in just a moment. Something else you can do with your existing installation is that the 5800C2W can mount in your existing uh, alarm cabinet or most alarm cabinets, but you probably won't want to put it in there because the metal enclosure is going to shunt the signal. Uh, 
the existing alarm, if it does use a 12 volt, four amp hour battery, you can continue to use that as a backup battery for the 5800 CTW. And you can keep, or it's recommended to keep that in the existing alarm cabinet as it makes installation easy. We just recommend that you install the 5800 CTW right outside of the cabinet. And then you can simply route the power wire for the battery into the cabinet, which will give it that backup power. The last thing to know about the 5800 CTW is that if you have a requirement of more than nine hardwired zones to program into your system, you can use as many uh, 5800 CTWs as you like. You just need to have different ones for all the other zones. If you're going to use multiple 5800 CTWs, they're all going to need their own power transformer and they will need their own backup battery. So now, as you can see, we have zone one closed on the 5800 CTW. Let's see how to program this zone into our Lyric system. Now we're ready to program the 5800 CTW into our Lyric controller. We are going to want to do a couple things on the 5800 CTW first though, before we program it in. So on our device, you can see that there's this, there's two buttons right here. The second button down is our calibration button. And what that's going to do is going to tell the 5800 C2W which zones are connected to it. Now it's only going to read the zones that do have a one to 10 K resistor connected to it. And those zones do have to be closed. So if you are installing your zones on the 5800 C2W and you have an open door or window, it won't read that as a zone, but as you can see, we only have one zone shunted out with a 2.2K resistor on zone one. I did calibrate it before, but just to go through the process, I'll do it again. So I click the calibration button, it goes through, and the first light turning green means that it's calibrated. This means that the C2W sees that it only has one zone connected to it. Now, when we go to program it into our system, the zones actually go from one through nine. So as you can see, the serial number is 0343510. This number, we're going to have to add one to if you're programming it in manually, or as we're going to do, we're going to learn it in. It's going to show up as 0343511. Zone two would be one two, zone three would be one three, so on and so forth. The way that I'm going to do this is actually loosen up this terminal, and I'm going to remove one leg of the resistor, and that should allow it to be learned into our Lyric controller. So let's head over to programming and see what that looks like. So now on our layer controller, we have to go into zone programming. So I'm going to hit the tools button, enter our default installer code, 4112, program, zones, and then the first two zones are the hardwired zones, and the rest is templated as the Lyric has been defaulted. I'm going to hit front door and then edit. So now I'm in this zone programming. I'm going to click serial number, and now the system is in learn mode. So I'm going to go back to my C2W and I'm going to loosen up that resistor that we saw in zone one to open the zone because I don't have a contact connected. And then I'm going to replace it. As you can see, we got one beep, so I'm going to do it a second time. We got two, I'm going to do it a third time. There you go. Just like any other 5800 device, it learns them with the three beeps. All the zones on the 5800 C2W are gonna be loop number one. And as you can see that serial number, it is the serial number that we saw and they added one onto the, uh, the end of it. That shows us that that's the first zone of the terminal set in the 5800 C2W. The rest of the programming, you just program it how you'd like, name it how you'd like, and you'll be all set. Usually zone number one will be the front door. So front door, Zone response type is entry exit, alarm report sure, chime is standard, supervision is supervised. So as we're all set, we're gonna click save. We'll back out to the main menu. And just to prove that it works, when I sh open this zone, we should see that the front door is open on our Lyric. The reason that we're seeing the tamper on the front door is because we do have the cover off of the 5800 C2W but it is working as expected. If you do have any questions about the 5800 C2W, installing it on your Lyric security system or security systems in general, feel free to head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or give us a call at 888-818-7728. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to get notified, <laughs> if you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. If you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.